All right, let's do the two practice problems for Euler's method. First one is once again working with dy dx equals y, starting at the same point 0, 01, but now having a step size of just 0.5. And we want to show that the y value is approximately 1.1025 when x is 0. 0.1. So since our x value that we start with is 0, and our step size is 0. 0.05, and we're going to 0. 0.1, that means we need two steps. So that's going to help guide our work. So let's do this. We need to create our table. We have X and we have Y. We now have the slope, which is our dy dx. We have the tangent line. We have the new X value, which is the old X value plus delta X. And we have the new Y value. The very first value we have is the point 0, 1, and the slope here is 1. Again, the y value is equal to the slope because dy dx equals y. Tangent line is slope times x minus the x value plus the y value. The new x is the original x plus the step, so it will be 0 0.05. Plug that into the tangent line equation. We have 1 times 0 0.05 plus 1 is 1.05. This point now moves down here to our second row. So 0 0.05, 1.05. This is our second step that we're working on, and I said we needed two steps. The slope is equal to the y value, so the slope is 1.05. Tangent line that goes with this point is 1.05 times x minus 0 0.05 plus 1.05. My new x is my last x of 0.05 plus another 0 0.05, which is 0 0.1. And then the y value I get by plugging in 0 0.01, 1 minus 0 0.05 is 0 0.05. Multiply it by the 1.05 and add it to 1.05, and guess what? You get 1.1025, which is exactly what we were setting out to prove it would be. Next example. This one is the first one that we've done that's not dy dx equals y. So this one is dy dx equals negative x over y, still starting at the point 0, 1, and the delta x is 0, 0.1, and they want us to do four steps because we're approximating four points. So we create our own table here. We have our x and our y. We have our slope. We have the tangent line. We have the new x value, and we have the new y value. So again, you can use this table on the AP exam, but you will have to have the columns memorized. You will need to know what to put in the table. So here's our first point. Plugging in this point into our slope, 0 over 1 is a slope of 0, so the tangent line is just y equals 1. The new x value, we take the old x value and we add 0.1 to get 0.1. If we plug in 0.1 into this tangent line, we still get the new y of, of 1. Bring down that point to get 0 0.1, 1. The slope is 0 0.1 over 1, which is negative 0 0.1. There is a negative there, of course. Tangent line is y equals negative 0 0.1 times x minus 0 0.1 plus 1. So I just used point slope form of my line. My new x value will be my old x value plus another 0 0.1, so 0 0.2. Plug 0 0.2 in here, I get 0 0.1 times negative 0 0.1, which is negative 0.01, which will get me to a 0.99 here. So now I'm going to take that point and bring it down. I've now done two of my four steps. Now I would start to need a calculator. Your slope is going to be x, negative x over y. So in this case, approximately negative 0.202. My tangent line then is negative 0.202 times x minus 0.2 plus 0.99. The new x value is 0.1 more than the prior x value. Then with my calculator, if I plug in 0.3 into this tangent line equation, I'm going to get out 0.9698. I'm now going to bring that point all the way down here, and I'm on my last row because I needed to estimate four points, so I only need four rows to do that. Plug these two values into my dy dx, and I'm going to get out negative 0.3093. Tangent line equation will then be negative 0.3093 x minus 0.3 plus 0.9698.
new x is the old x plus another point 0.1. Plugging in point 0.4 into this tangent line equation, I get my final point of 0.93886. And this is one, two, three, four points that they have asked us to approximate.